Hi everyone, welcome to session 7. A lot of stuff going on in this session with my focus squarely aimed at Bluetooth low energy communications between an iPod touch and a BLE in a single mode, Arduino Shield or equivalent. The coding for the iOS app is getting more complex and with a new iOS language, that being Swift, there is also not a lot of code examples to leverage of. This is both good and bad, the good being it really forces you to understand the sequencing and the why, enough that you can get a project example working. The bad because the interweb is not necessarily bursting with questions and answers. Anyway, fresh from my trip to the Big Smoke, that's Sydney, Australia, and with very little time remaining, I delved into the iOS Core Bluetooth API, the Swift language version. On the peripheral device side of things, I am testing using the following shields or integrated Arduinos. The Red Beer Lab BLE shield coupled to my Arduino Uno. The RF Duino, which uses a Cortex Arm M0 Micro with a, a Bluetooth um, module integrated. And the Femto Duino BLE using a Leonardo chip with the Blue Giga 113 BLE module. Again, I'm just going to restate here that I am learning here. So everything I say should be viewed as raw knowledge with an experience time span measured in hours. Okay, so you start off with a central manager object, which is the listener, and in my case, the central manager will be the iPod Touch fifth generation. By the way, the iOS Core Bluetooth API, I believe is specific to BLE only. The central manager then discovers peripheral devices, BLE compatible shields, etc. And when a uh, peripheral device is found and then is connected to the central manager, then you can explore the data characteristics on that peripheral device. So in the iOS app, all of the coding is done within the viewcontroller.swift file, leaving the unit user interface set up to the storyboard file. In the practice program I developed today, I'm simply seeking to first confirm that the iPod Touch is a valid BLE device, start a function to discover peripheral devices, when a peripheral device is found, connect to it and display its RSSI, or Received Signal Strength Indicator. Here goes trying to explain what is happening. So the class is the view controller. The view controller also needs to act as a delegate for the central manager and the peripheral, meaning that you want the view controller to respond to certain things that happen, i.e. when the peripheral devices connect to it, etc. By adding the delegates, I also gain access to all the methods that are associated with these delegates from within the Corp Bluetooth API. Having set the delegates, the first thing that needs to occur is to make sure that Bluetooth is working on the iPod Touch. There are a number of states that need to be tested. The primary one being, though, uh, that indicates that all is good is the powered on state. With the iPod Touch ready, it is now able to discover peripheral devices. In the practice project, I am searching for all BLE devices and connecting to one of them. I capture the RSSI data and output this to the BenchBuddy app. That's it for this session. Bye for now.